want to do something, all of us, collectively, to show our support. And we know in all our departments, we're not perfect. We all make mistakes, and our officers make mistakes. But that type of fatal mistake will never, ever be tolerated in North New Jersey and in Essex County. I want to thank my partners in law enforcement. We have some speakers I'm going to bring up. Chief Darnell Henry of the North Police Division. I have a challenge. I, I ask everyone here today to close your eyes and imagine that the person on the ground handcuffed with their hands behind their back was your wife, your husband, your father, your mother, your son, your daughter, or your siblings while gasping for air with a police officer knee in their neck. Now open your eyes and tell me, how do you feel? We are here to tell the world that we are denouncing this type of inhumanity behavior from police officers. What we all witnessed in Minneapolis was tragic beyond words and truly demoralizing to the righteous, hardworking men and women of our profession. I promise you that we will continue to be forthcoming and we will work diligently to remove this stain from our profession in order to restore your faith. Today I stand in solidarity with my colleagues in law enforcement, making a pledge that we will put our heads together and develop corrective action plans to address issues that negatively impact communities of color. Enough is enough. To the Floyd family, you are in our prayers, and we pray that God will continue to lead, God direct, and protect your family. And most of all, may God bless America. We will do our best to stand with the Floyd family, to stand with our family, and to stand with all of our officers who are as outraged as we are as their commanders. May God bless the Floyd family, and may God help us and have all the injustices that have been committed throughout in this great country of ours corrected and dealt with once and for all. We all stand shoulder to shoulder to make sure that an injustice such as this is not unheeded. This is a time for action and this is a pivotal moment I think in the history of this country where action has a chance of actually being taken. I have charged each chief and director to come up with plans to deal with issues not only involving these types of incidents, but also the aftermath that comes as a result of it. In the words of Dr. Martin Luther King, though, riot is the language of the unheard. So what we must do is make sure that we do what we can to interact with all of those who we have the privilege of providing law enforcement services in order to make sure that they know and believe that their interests are at the foremost of what we do. We hear them, we serve them, and we are here for that purpose alone. It's a proud day for me to, to be here uh, in the city of Newark with all of these officers uh, flanking my left and right and behind me uh, to express outrage over the killing of another human being George Floyd. It is awesome. And I think this is something that needs to actually go viral. I think police officers all over the nation need to do what's happening here today and then take another step and begin to address what's happening in their own departments around the country and make a pledge to, to change uh, the culture, change systemically the issues. I would like us to end by doing what uh, Colin Kaepernick got fired for. Let us all take a knee to show respect to the Floyd family.